welcome back to Divine Times 2. Hope you are having a great day. Today, I'm making comforting pumpkin chili. This chili is a warm and hearty autumn chili. It's absolutely delicious. And I'm so excited to show you how I make this. So join me in the kitchen and let's get started. Let's begin cooking and browning the ground beef. This is one pound of ground beef in a Dutch oven. You may also cook the ground beef in a pot. After the ground beef is browned and chopped, I chopped mine with a meat chopper, add one large chopped Vidalia onion and one red or orange diced bell pepper. And by the way, this is from my um, pepper plants. Mm, it smells so good. Stir and cook for about five to seven minutes. Up until the onions and peppers are tender. Now add five minced garlic cloves. Stir and cook for about one minute. Add one tablespoon onion powder, one tablespoon garlic powder, one tablespoon chili powder, one teaspoon smoked paprika, half a teaspoon ground black pepper, one tablespoon dark brown sugar, half a teaspoon ground cinnamon, one teaspoon thyme. And I crush the thyme in between my fingers to let out that oil and the delicious aroma. One teaspoon salt. Mix. Now add one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and do not drain it. One 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. Mm, I can smell the delicious scent of cinnamon. Two cups of chicken stock. Mix. Now add two 15 ounce cans of cannellini beans, rinsed and drained. Okay, let this come up to a boil. After it comes up to a boil, lower the temperature to medium low, cover and let it simmer for 30 minutes. It's been simmering for 30 minutes. Stir well and place the lid back on, but leave a slight opening. Don't close the lid all the way. This way, some of the liquid will evaporate, making it a thicker consistency. Continue to simmer the chili for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. The pumpkin chili has been simmering for 15 minutes. Remember, I had the lid uh, somewhat opened. And look at how thick it has gotten. That looks amazing. Now, at this point, taste it and... Add salt or and or black pepper if if it needs it. It's to your taste. And then it will be ready to serve. You could taste the pumpkin in this chili, but it's a mild flavor. 
I love that it gives the chili a thick consistency and nutritional value like rich in vitamin A. Guys, you need to try this. You are going to love this comforting pumpkin chili. All right, guys, let's try this pumpkin chili. It smelled so good while I was cooking it. That was absolutely amazing. Mm. Mm. This is so good. It's, it has a little bit of kick. The cinnamon comes through and it's not overpowering. It gives it a warm and inviting flavor, like a homey flavor. Oh, it tastes so good. I'm gonna taste it with some sour cream. Mmm. With the sour cream, it gives it a nice creamy flavor. What I love about our pumpkin chili, I use cannellini beans. And I think it looks so, so inviting in the dish. The white beans, instead of the traditional black and red beans. This is absolutely delicious. It is so simple to make, it's comforting, it's delicious. Guys, you need to try this. You are going to love this comforting pumpkin chili. You're going to love it. This comforting pumpkin chili will be an amazing addition to your other autumn recipes. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Comment down below. We would love to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so you won't miss out on any of our future simple, delicious, and comforting recipes. See you next time. Love ya. Bye.